Buster says, is there a feature in Teams that will allow me to share a live dashboard from a CRM or phone system? Hey, there's our telephony question. Uh, <laughs> so I can share with my team on a daily basis, a bit like a widget that can stay on the screen in the background. I don't want to create a meeting or a new team that everyone has to join every day and share my screen. Any advice would be much appreciated. Good question. And uh, it is one of those things that you you can do, you can configure in Microsoft Teams and you have a couple of options. One of the easiest options is to create a new tab in Microsoft Teams. And depending on what is hosting your dashboard, let's say it's Power BI, for example, you could have a Power BI tab to a pre-configured dashboard or report that you would configure. It's all, you know, click GUI driven. Uh, and that's good, but if you had something different, some of the other Microsoft competing dashboard type products, uh, then you could use a, a tab again, but you're connecting to that web page resource. So those are two options. Uh, on the screen and floating, you know, that, that may not be possible, but a third option is to create a SharePoint site page. Inside of that site page, you could include things like a web part to the dashboard, maybe even a section of your CRM. If it's you know based on the Dynamics platform, you might be able to expose some of that information through an iframe. Many options uh, to achieve what you're looking for. And it's a great idea because it's, it's keeping people in context of where they're working. Yeah. My only concern with that is do the people have permissions you know, maybe she's the only one that has permission well, to view that dashboard in whatever well, platform it is. Yeah, yeah. That, I mean, that's the key is that even if you add it to a tab, if people don't have permissions and they'll get and they'll get the notification like you do not have permissions. So you can see the tab and you can click on it, but you still wouldn't be able to open it if you didn't have the permissions. Right. I mean, that's why I love like you, you have, you know, tabs are the answer. If it's externally shareable, if there is a URL that you can point somebody towards and they have the right permission, you can add it to that generic web tab. Um, you also have the native capability with like Power BI, so you can point to a specific dashboard or asset within Power BI. Similarly and then with Excel. Share it with people. And yeah, share, share that. Yeah. 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 So if it's in every case, it is security trimmed. That's yeah. the point. Yep. Also, and it's looking at your Windows or your um, browser um, credentials for that. Right. right. Yeah. It also might be license constrained, especially on the Power BI side. They yeah. have the the license containment down pretty good. So, yeah, um, licensing has to be respected in these ways. But if your organization has the right licensing, you'll get the right information to them so they can act on it. Just realize that if you know, one, if the people that you want to see it and review that have the right licenses, they've got the right level of permissions to be able to see that, um, that it is still likely if they restart, you know, they boot up Teams, uh, they'll, they may have to log in, they go to that tab, they'll have to log in to see it. It won't just automatically be there, recognize it. That's, that's one of those things where, you know, I, I wish things would be a little bit more intelligent, a little more advanced. It's not asking me just realize hey here's all my permissions and so open these things up already for me i we've already confirmed that i am who i say i am with opening up teams or opening up my computer um but sometimes now you still have to go through the steps and and log into that but your team should be able to get easy access to all that information Thank you.